Hello everyone, Parse7 here, and welcome back to another episode of Cancer Buff Tower Beat Blumineris. This week, I decided to do Sub Commander, as I figured this was probably the perfect map for it. Seeing as you know, off the coast does have a large amount of water, I think half the map is of course um, water, just kind of looking at it. Um, this week is not really too hard, there's not really a whole lot of restrictions, there's a, some light restrictions with um, heroes and whatnot, but I mean, since you have Geraldo, you should probably be fine since you know you have the nft and whatever just make sure to place them down like round four so you can get the nft up by you know like round five now i wasn't really 100 percent sure if sub commander could actually even be blue Nares, even with you know as many buffs as possible seeing as you know sub commander is kind of a tower that doesn't really shine too well on its own of course it does have the um buff which does buff itself but usually when you're going for sub commander you're usually spamming you know ballistic missiles or ap darts usually people most people spam ap darts as uh, since um you know, AP Dart has, you know, full map range, all ballistic, you have to go for the top cross path in order to do so. But, anyways, like I said, you know, Sub Commander is kind of a tower that really just, um, it kind of shine. it's best utilized when in combination with, you know, like, other subs, and not really kind of by itself. But, I hopefully the extra damage, and I think it's Pierce, Sub Commander gives, will do enough in order to actually be able to beat Planarius. Now, uh, Brickwell is allowed for this week of Blunarius, but I figure that Geraldo is probably better, seeing as the Sharpening Stone gives plus one damage and pierce, which probably is better than just attack speed increase, as well as the fact that, you know, the uh, also the NFT for making money, so I think that uh, Geraldo is just an overall better choice when buffing, you know, subs instead of Brickwell, which is a bit of a shame. Brickwell does ha give extra pierce to subs now in, like, a semi-recent update but i don't think the extra pierce is really as good as you know the plus one damage and extra pierce that geraldo can give now skipping over to tier one can't really get sub commander in time not that i don't think i need sub commander for this tier anyway so just kind of getting my uh three dart monkeys down just so you know we can see camo and of course get global map range my farming is a bit poor as you can see only three marketplaces but thankfully with all this water this week perfect for a um of course a trade empire strategy which i will be utilizing all this tier is down. I don't think I need too much to really beat Blunarius this tier. As you can see, AP Darts is still doing pretty well. The only really thing I have to worry about is the Ceramic Wave, as, um, Ballistic, uh, not Ballistic Missile. AP Darts isn't really, I guess, the best when it comes to group balloons. It's alright, but I think you probably need sub to so really not die for that. So I ended up getting a Geraldo's Glue down, just to, you know, put on this Ceramic Wave, and hopefully AP Darts is able to take it down, which it is, although it is a bit scary. And Waves 2 and 3 are gonna be a bit difficult. And again, I wasn't really too concerned about it, seeing as I do have glue in it, if anything ever does happen, I can always use, you know, Geraldo's little blade mailstorm trap, which is honestly, know, in my opinion, one of Geraldo's most OP items, a cheap male and S mail at higher levels is pretty nutty, but anyways, so ceramic wave number two, not really too difficult, didn't even buy tier four in alpha buff, although probably should, seeing as you know, that one got pretty far, and so the last one definitely is going to be the most difficult, as it'll have... So, uh, AP Darts will have the least amount of time and actually don't want to pop it, but the boss damage on Blunaris is pretty good, you know, just with minimal buffs, AP Darts is doing pretty well. I don't think it's good enough to become meta, per se, for bosses, but I think it can be used if you're, if you're ever bored of, I guess, you know, sticky and, you know, sticky and, like, recursive or some other uh, embrittlement plus overdrive and whatnot. If you're ever bored of that, I guess for normal you can go for AP Darts, but I don't think this will work too well on Elite. All in all, I think AP darts did pretty well. It only took eight rounds in order to beat it, and I was able to get Trade Empire on round 48, which will help accelerate, you know, income for, I guess, just kind of mid-game. So for tier 2, able to afford Sub Commander and, of course, Overclock, thanks to the Trade Empire army. And Sub Commander is absolutely kind of just shredding tier 2. It's definitely going to be a much faster kill than tier 1. Kind of surprised that Sub Commander is kind of doing this well, seeing, you know, it only has, like, minimal buffs. Not even, like, Homeland, Temple, or Village, or two bunch of any buffs, really. And it's still doing pretty well against tier 2 Blinaris, which is kind of surprising in my opinion. Although we have seen this before, where towers are st are doing pretty well against the first, like, the three or four tiers of Blinaris, but they just don't have enough in the tank in order to beat tier 5. And of course, because it's sub commander, don't really have to worry too much about 63, and that's coming up pretty shortly. A uh, sub commander, thankfully, is able to easily take care of the AI balloons as well as Blinaris, and still doing pretty good damage even though uh, sub commander's not focusing all of its firepowering on just taking down blinary so even the ceramic wave that blinary spawns sub commander is still doing pretty well against you know kind of surprised i don't even think i need the little tub of glue down there but it's just still kind of there as you can't really mainly get rid of it unless i were to sell sub commander but i figured you know probably wouldn't be best to do that i'm kind of curious to see you know how many pumps can sub commander kind of get 
by the end of the game. Let me know how much uh, pops you think Subcurrent's going to get by the end of the game. Anyway, since tier 2 is pretty much dead at this point, I figured it was time to start uh, getting my um, central markets down. As I've gotten a full kind of trade empire army going up and figured why not make it even better. Alright, so tier 3 starting immediately getting a banana central, just kind of going for the greed play. So I figured that subcommander probably doesn't need too much in order to beat this. Have the jar of pickles, sharpening stone, and you know, perm brew. And that alone I think is plus 3 damage, which is pretty nice. And of course, you know, you also perm brew does guess sort of get plus 2 since you know it does have the extra damage to mob class balloons due to the uh, acidic mystery dip, which is pretty cool. So I'm getting my uh, uh, monkey nomics down because, well, monkey nomics plus energizer is an absolutely insane combo, especially if you are stalling the round. Of course, sub commander is kind of anti stalling right now, and there's not really much I can really do about that. So here I'm just kind of having a sub commander switch between first and strong, as I figured that um, with you know homeland in the back, the dart monkeys are putting in work, especially with homeland. They're able to easily take out the pinks, which I guess is pretty nice. You know, they seeing the dart monkeys actually kind of be useful aside from you know just intel so because of this i'm able to just have sub commanders kind of be on strong and i only really switch it to first whenever blinary spawns the mobs that he spawns which sub commander just kind of easily takes out so having i got ultra boost early just kind of like a few rounds before fan so i can get as many stacks before blinary spawn if you did saw i think i am on my 10th stack right now which i think i just got from the last ultra boost so after kind of doing all this just kind of greeting uh, kind of Reading through the old tiers of Blinarius, I've kind of gotten as many farms down as I can really get. At this point, it's just kind of, um, we'll just greed as much money and just prepare for tier 4 and tier 5, which Sub Commander, I'm pretty sure, can take down. No Sub Commander is really living up to its name of Most OP Tower. Alright, you know the drill for tier 4. Pretty much, there's not really much I can do at this point. The only thing I'm missing, you know, is like Cripple Moab. I had to get Jar Pickles, I had to reply. Um, jar pickles onto sub commander, just you know, cripple, glue storm, uh, super brittle kind of in the front, and also do have to get a chinook because I do need to move super brittle around. That's really all I need to do. And sub commander is absolutely just kind of shredding. Just look at that absolute damage that's doing to tier four with you know, true sun guy and all the damage buffs. It is still doing some insane amounts of damage. Not even sure if jar pickles is even worth it, but I still do apply it because I figure that you know, the attack speed decrease probably doesn't really matter too much, seeing as you know. The attack speeds from, you know, Ultra Boost, Perma Brew, Homeland is probably enough to really offset that and not really make too much of a difference. But Tier 4 absolutely gets shredded and is probably the fastest and is definitely the fastest Blinarius kill out of all the tiers, I'm pretty sure. As Sub Commander doesn't get m any stronger from here. The only thing, again, that's missing is, you know, Glue Storm, which, again, only provides plus one layer and doesn't, probably won't make too much of a difference. Although, I did end up forgetting, you know, one buff that's exclusive to water towers being, you know, of course, carrier flagship. Unfortunately, carrier flagship does attack, so does will be doing some damage, although won't really be doing too much damage, seeing as, you know, the only buff it'll be given is homeland. I didn't even cross path it. So we're getting XXXXXL trap kind of in the just back, just to make sure that um, sub commander isn't really dying to any, I guess, just kind of insides or AI balloons, if AI balloons ever do make it that far, which they shouldn't. As of course, some um, sub commander should be taking care of the AI balloons with ease. I was a bit worried about this tier of Blunaris, seeing as you know, sub commander didn't really get too much stronger from tier four. Tier four was pretty easy, was absolutely shredded, but you know, tier five has so much more HP than tier four. I'm not really 100% sure if sub commander did have enough in order to take it out. As the only buff that I did add was you know, carrier flagship and of course, glue storm. So kind of sidetracking a bit since I don't really much talking about this point. Um, NK has confirmed that the next three paragons are going to be Engineer, Ace, and Wizard. I'm kind of excited to see Wizard as I really do kind of want to see, you know, if, you know, the Wizard Paragon will be able to resurrect DDTs. I think that'd be kind of cool or is like ZOMGs. I imagine it probably will be able to resurrect, you know, all the way up to uh, ZOMGs or DDTs. Maybe not, but, you know, it's definitely not bad. I don't think NK is going to do that. Although, who knows? They... They might, you know, it kind of was unexpected to see, you know, Buccaneer Paragon be able to hook in bads. I felt like that was, like, incredibly OP. I do think it is, but, you know, it, it, co it costs half a million dollars, so it does kind of make sense. The upgrade for Engineer is going to be called Master Builder. I do think that's probably a Lego movie reference, if I had to guess. NK does love to do, you know, kind of kind of cool references every now and then, and it is kind of cool to see them do that. But I kind of want to hear what you guys think of the kind of new Paragons in the, in the comments down below. I am kind of excited for all of them, 
well, assuming that all of them get released, although I am kind of excited for the attack paragon. More excited for wizard, for, uh, not wizard, for attack more than engineer. I know that's kind of betrayal scene as my um, uh, profile picture is, of course, of an 003 engineer. But anyways, tier 5 Blunaris is basically dead, which um, it's kind of barely, Submariner is barely scraping by with being able to do enough damage. That last pad was a bit scary. So if you enjoyed the video, you know, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Join Discord. Link is down below in the description. Also, Subcommander did 13.7 million pops over the course of 125 rounds.